So where are we? Senate Republicans continue to negotiate in good faith. We've had a lot of good dialogue with the White House. We're trying to get to that common goal of reaching a bipartisan infrastructure agreement that we talked about in the Oval Office with the President several weeks ago, and I talked with him even previous to that. We believe that this counteroffer delivers on what President Biden told us in the Oval Office that day, and that is uh, to try to reach somewhere near a trillion dollars over an eight-year period of time that would include our baseline spending. Uh, we have achieved that goal with this counteroffer. But we've also, I think, done something that um, has stayed true to what our beliefs are when we very first started this, um, this endeavor, and that is sticking to the core physical infrastructure. What is the definition of infrastructure? And uh, we have stayed within the boundaries of our original um, plan. Uh, I think that's what the American people think of when they think of, in, uh, of infrastructure, and that's certainly what we do, too. But there's a couple bits of good news, I think, that have happened since we had that meeting with the president. Number one, we passed a bipartisan water infrastructure package of $35 billion out of my EPW committee center with uh, Chairman Carper, bipartisan. Uh, we got an 89 to 2 or 88 to 2 uh, vote on the Senate floor on that piece of legislation. That's one of the pieces that the president had and we have a, a like agreement on in terms of physical infrastructure. The other thing is yesterday we passed a $316 trillion five-year surface transportation bill. It has a lot of things that the president wants in there, resiliency, roads and bridges. Um, we have connecting communities in there. And uh, we also have uh, uh, EV charging infrastructure piece in there. So that passed out of our committee 20 to nothing.